So for the last two years, I have made the how many credits can I make in one hour when the festive atmosphere or the holiday ops are on. So we are now going to do it all again this year. Now I've picked out six tanks. If we go through all six within the hour, then uh, I'll obviously just pick a different one. I mean, we've got plenty to choose from. Uh, these are just the, you know, all of these we have to choose from. So yeah, we've picked out six tanks, which I think I can make a lot in. So we do have the KV-5, Baraz, TVP, Skoda, Progetto, of course, and the Vipera. Um, all of these are going to be without uh, without food and without the premium ammunition. So everything should be okay. And we'll just see at the end of it, obviously using the little whatever this is widget down here to know exactly how much profit we gain. And we're going for pure profit. Anyway, let's apply some boosters. And you know what, we'll go for all of this, why not? And once these runs out, I will go and reactivate them. So even that will be continuing as well. Anyway, the first game, hmm, what do we want to play? PTK? Start with the PTK. Okay, so our first game, Ooh, we're on Mountain Pass. Now this isn't actually too bad for this tank, considering that obviously you can snipe with this thing. Um, we've got very, very nice standard pen, and we do also have very, very nice uh, HE pen. Uh, 100 HE pen is lovely, um, especially considering that it does get, I think this gets like 6k DPM or something, like 420 alpha every 4.5 seconds. Yeah, if you can pen those HE rounds, they are devastating. So we'll see. We can. We also have more than enough view range to be able to deal with um, pretty much everyone that we see. Um, I should probably go back a little bit and just wait. Wait until we get unspotted. Um, yeah, I have coffee. I also have uh, water with me. So I am ready for a full hour of just credit grinding. Hmm. I mean, he obviously got spotted by someone. Did we get spotted here? What about here? What about here? Hmm. Okay. Well, there isn't anyone directly in front. Uh, there's, there isn't anyone directly in front that can spot me. Oh, PTK. I don't think we hit him. We just have to wait. Um, hmm. I wonder if I can shoot the tortoise without dying. I mean, our team is doing okay down the other side of the map, so we should be okay. I don't think I can shoot the tortoise without getting spotted here. I think I needed this tree to fall down this way instead. Yeah, we needed this tree to go this way rather than towards me. Hmm. I don't really know what to do at this point. Oh, tortoise is there though. Ugh, this is annoying. Okay, I need to fully run away from this. This is very bad, actually. We may be able to get some shots off here. Like, we're hiding behind these bushes. Um, if I knock these trees down... Hopefully, this will give me enough. Yeah, like this. This is what I want. I know the WZ's coming through the middle, but this guy needs to fall back. This is fine so far. I don't know where that one went. Using these bushes to our advantage, which is good. Don't 
already have shots hit. Unfortunately, if we had gold here, we would just go straight through this guy, but we don't, so... Ugh. Well, now I don't have any health to peek this guy. Huh? Absolute bot. God's sake, please. See if we can win this, I don't know. I mean, our tortoise is going in now, so it's good. Wait, what did I just hit? Huh? What? I don't even know. Did I not even do damage? Okay. Whatever. Well, that was just amazing. Lovely. So, so far we have earned 96k credits profit. Hmm. Let's go play the Barrasque. Do we have any light tanks? We have one. Lovely. Now we find out where our hawk is going. He's AFK. I'm just going to sit here for a second and just see what we can spot. See if their light tank wants to be aggressive. We should be able to spot through the bushes quite, quite well, so it's not going to be an issue. Our light tank going through the middle. What is our light tank doing? There he is. Now that he's dead, I'm going to push up. Lovely. We should be able to sit here for a little bit. Hopefully. Don't really need to do much. That, however, is an issue. Because... I need to now go about here. Because the issue that I'm going to face is that if this comes up and tries to proxy, we have big issues. And we are going to die. I should easily be able to spot the BZ as he comes up through these bushes. Because he doesn't have enough camo. And I have more than enough view range and whatnot to deal with them. But the only thing, the only thing that you really need to worry about when you're playing this or playing proc on this side is your view range, your proxy range ring. Because as you can see, like this is right close to the bowl, so I should be okay as long as he doesn't go into these bushes directly in front of me. So like a ping here, that is 51 meters right there on the very edge of the bowl. But I should spot him before he gets there. Obviously 50 meters being proxy range, so as soon as he enters 50 meters, 
Um, I will get spotted at the same time as he will. If he's not already. But this is okay so far. Just be patient. I want to know where this BZ is. Once I know where this BZ is, I feel a lot more confident about moving around a little bit to try and get some better angles on people. But at the moment, no. I'm not. I'm not moving. I mean, if I can spot a TS5 there, I should be able to spot a BZ moving out of these bushes. Although, to be fair, I might have spotted the TS5 as he was like in an opening or whatnot. Even though that we're not gaining any spotting at the moment, we still are in a very good position. Like, we don't need to move. I'm so glad my chat's off. Oh, here he is. People are actually going to have a hard time trying to pen this. Okay. I moved back. That was actually kind of a risk to move back because I'm not a light tank. My camo will go down as I move. But, you know, luckily it worked out okay. So, now what I should need to do is just sit here and just be patient. Because we should, should spot anyone. And the, the problem that I have now is that I have to go past this bit. This bit is like the death zone. So this area here is like the death zone. Just ignore that. Like we're getting the spot and it's fine. Um, this bit is like the death zone here because you have to cross the open bit with no camo. And if there is anyone up here, they will spot you as you do that. But it's not really required at the moment. From this, this point, we should be able to spot everyone. I wonder if anyone's going to be able to shoot this guy. I don't know. I don't know if that connected. I have to back off again because of the proxy range. Make sure I'm going back into the bushes. Okay, nice. Very good. Now we can go back forwards again to try and spot that SU if we can. There's the SU. Okay, very good. Now it's just the R2. Go forwards. I don't have a shot on this guy. But what we're going to do is go for the RT now. I kind of hope that we have a bit, a bit blind. I'd love to get 10k spotting. I could just let them shoot the RT, I guess. Do I just let them shoot the RT? Or do I just go for the kill? I want 10k. Alright, I want 10k spotting. I've never done it before, okay? I wanted 10k spotting. I wanted to make sure I got it. Ah. Oh. Okay then. I mean, that, that's pretty nice.
I'm not going to lie. That's pretty nice. <laughs> I'm glad that I did actually do that. Yeah. That is one way of earning a lot of credits. And you know what? We'll apply it. It doesn't go to anything. It goes to the crew, but, you know, we'll apply it. So, whatever. This guy done 8k damage. He done 8,000 damage. He basically got every single spot that I that I done. Thank you. Thank you for being on my team. Oh, and the clam reserve is up. Lovely. We'll activate another one. Okay. Well, Barask went well. Um, let's play the Skoda now. Ah. Well, we get Westfield. It's tier 10. Hmm. I think I'm going to go all the way out to the left here. And just pray that I can hit something. Sounds like a good, good decision. Not gonna lie. I'm sure he enjoyed his time playing World of Tanks. <laughs> Go away. Bad two seven. I will Capola snipe you. I don't care. I will Capola snipe you. I've warned him. Hmm. Maybe I won't. It's very slow. We must run. I will deal with you later. You're slightly annoying. The thing is, I can component sniper 279. I wonder if he has config. If he doesn't have config, I could just go around the side of him and try and amarack it. I have enough pen. If I was using premium, then maybe. If I, actually, if I was using premium, yeah, maybe I could pen that angle. Don't know. We'll see. Crown's having fun, though. Give that man a survey. I'm sure he'll give you glowing reviews, Wargaming. Why does this keep going high? Well, I hit it that time, at least. Nice. Right. Well, I mean, we can kind of ignore the uh, 279 now. Although, I mean, now nothing else is here. Okay, great. Now we can get the spot on him. He doesn't seem to be a very good 279 driver, I won't lie. I am now going to cross to see if anyone wants to overpeak this. And they do. Lovely. <laughs> he bounced. Uh, silly Billy 279. Um, can I spot this or anyone else at the back of the map here? Continue. And 279 is running. Right, finish off this guy. Let me move. Let me get one more shot into this. Lovely. Didn't need to rush the shot. We just were relaxed. Took it in our own time. It's fine. All I want to do is try and get one more quick spot on that guy so he stays spotted. Um, I don't know if this guy is going to try and peek me. This isn't really very good. I won't lie. Right. Everyone's dead. I mean... 
wanted to try and shoot this guy. Uh, told you I could pilot a snipe view. Didn't lie. Alright, 2.1, whatever. It's tier 10 Westfield. Not a lot you can do. Yeah. When you come nearly top on damage in a tier 10 game, something's gone wrong. Right, what's next? Vipera? Sure, play the Vipera. Okay, well, we're on Erlenberg. Hmm. What are we going to do on Erlenburg? Oh, it's tier 8. So we can kind of be, be a li little bit stupid. Uh, as this is stupid tank. Um, we'll have to see. We'll have to see how this game progresses, first of all. Uh, we'll go to our normal spot first. And just see if we... Well, if we're allowed to go to our normal spot, that is. Um, someone else might take it. Uh, which is just on this window bit on the corner. So hopefully we can get some nice easy shots there. Uh, is this charioteer taking that spot? If he is, that's not an issue. I can just move around, that's fine. It's annoying. Really? I can't pen the low plate at that angle? There we go. Well, I now reload for the next decade. Please hold the line call up. Here with you in a second, okay? Is the ISM finally side scraping? Where did that even go? He's consistent, if nothing else. Keep an eye on that T-34. Please. There we go. Where did you pen? He's better than me. Unfortunate. Again, we go for a nice reload. I mean, that wasn't quite what I wanted to do, but... Oh. Should have been paying attention there. Could have got an easy shot onto that guy. Too bad. I don't really want to cross the bridge yet. Um, because, well, well, we'll find out if my theory is correct. Hmm. Could have maybe crossed the bridge. I was expecting a lot more people uh, to the right hand side, like over here, to shoot. Hmm. 
I mean, if that's the case, then I'm just gonna I'm just gonna push across. Scorpion hits us. Oh well, I'm dead here now. Unless I can hide somehow. Go, 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 go. Yes, in. In. Hide, Max. Yes. Very nice. Okay. Ah, uh, how are we going to play this? I mean, if we hit this, this is going to be insane. Vipera is dead. That is not good. Gun is so derpy sometimes. Ah. <sighs> Does he not have his repair kit? Okay. Oh, and then I hit that. What on earth, man? Sure, whatever you say, game. So, I think the Scorpion G is like over here somewhere. I'm gonna put a few blind shots in and just see, like test, the, test our luck. One more, do a full clip. Maybe we hit someone, maybe we didn't, but you know, it's always worth a shot. Alright, let's go forwards. What we'll do, we'll see if we can go hold down over here. Where's the Yag Panther? PTK had uh, HE loaded. He is all the way in that corner as well. So the PTK is like, up here. I was going to type PTK to my team, but then I realised I was. Uh, I turned the chat off. Well, we earned 168k from that game. Not bad. So, so far we have earned 700k from four battles, which is pretty good. Let's go ahead and play in the Bajetto. And then we'll finish things off with the KV5. A little bit of the old ramming build. Okay, well, we are on El Haluf, and we are in a tier 9 game, which is not not awful, to be fair. Um, we got to the standard kind of, not heavy tank position, but the position that I like to play at least. Um, ooh, we should actually be able to get some nice shots on this guy, hopefully. There we go, we get one in. Uh, so, we'll go up here, and then maybe we can get shots on anyone that's crossing. That's the idea. Is that you go up this bit, and then you just wait for a second. Usually someone likes to cross, and then you can get a shot on someone. Then you can even try and track them in the open, which is really nice. Interestingly enough, nothing seems to even be here. And there is a Type 4 Heavy, which will obviously take a while to get here, but... They should already be here by now. Right, unless they're all just sitting on the corner. Hmm. Ooh, hello. Didn't quite get the second shot in. It's a little bit annoying. 
But I also don't want to overpeak too much. Then we are in a little bit of trouble if we do that. Yeah, we're still getting spotted. Okay, that guy's still there and I'm not gonna I'm not even gonna bother facing him. Tortoise is a little bit of a uh, interesting tank to be able to deal with. Maybe I can track him. Yep, perma tracked. Now he's dead. Good. Very good. No RT, so we don't have to worry about that. Um, the only thing that we really need to worry about is this Pantera here that will spot us. We might even be able to get a shot from this guy. Yeah, not able to get the second shot off, but again, that's fine. So far, so good. Should kind of just wait now for a second or two. Let's get a full clip. Okay, he's now dead. Did we get spotted for that? No, okay. Just wait here for a second. Might be able to uh, get a shot on someone over here. Okay. In that case, then I'm just going to push forward and see if I can spot this. VK is up here. VK is no longer up there. Okay, well. This game was very, very fast. Not a lot we can really do. But there you go. We might be able to get one more clip out, hopefully. Just to finish it off. And everyone's just getting obliterated now. I don't even get any spotting on that either. Okay, well, it's good enough. Good enough, honestly. Um, it's not great, but not absolutely awful either. That 2.5k damage. It's fine. Maybe get one more? No. Um, oh, not bad, considering it's a very fast game. 155k for that. Okie dokie. Alright. And for our last game. The KB-5, with the RAM build. Let's go and see how many credits we can make. KB-5, on Ensk. And I believe we have Dakia's command on this. Uh, yeah, I think so. So, what are we going to do? Hmm, I can't really RAM anything at the moment. Going to have to just uh, wait until... Something happens. I don't really want to push forwards because our team isn't even in position to do anything about that. Maybe I can just peek this side and see if I get any info. There's an Iron Arnie with me, so maybe. We know the artillery is over this side because I just saw the uh, the trail. You gonna bounce this? Thanks, Ducky. What? There we go. Alright, he's dead. 
process. This is why I do not have Daki usually on. He talks too much. All the commanders talk too much. Might as well just have him commentating it. Uh, I love Daki, but like, I don't like the commanders. I don't like any of the commanders, to be fair. No, I didn't. Shush. Come on, I want to ram something. Three pens, that. I must get to the optimal. Oh no! Um, I've slightly cocked this one up. KB5 feels very slow without food. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I can barely turn in this thing. Well, that didn't really go exactly to plan, but... Sure. Well, at the end of six games, we are nearly a million. And that's million profit. So, 985k. Not bad. Not bad for an hour. We probably could have made more if we paid a little bit smarter. Uh, but, yeah. Doesn't really matter. I mean, look. Look at this... Peasant number 15 damage. Anyway, if you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And, uh, hmm, Tiggy has now moved, but he's still there. He's just the other end. Wait, see. There he is. See? Nice. He's sleeping. Yeah, leave a like and subscribe. And, uh, that'll be it for me this year. So wish you all a very good Christmas for those of you that celebrate it. If not, just have a good time off. And I will see you all on the 9th of January for new videos and a new year. Thank you all very much for watching. Stay safe. I'll see you all in the next video.